Hi, I'm Siddharth from Digit and we're looking at the Corby Pro from Samsung. I'll be doing a quick video walkthrough for you. So let's start with some of the design features. On the back, the phone has got a 3.15 megapixel camera and a standard 3.5mm audio jack on the top edge. While on the side, we have a dedicated button to access camera. Here we have a covered micro USB port. Now let me try to get the cover off. Mm, okay, here we go. Yeah, now the phone boasts a resistive touchscreen with three home screens on the main UI. On the side is a widget bar which contains an assortment of widgets which you can drag onto any of your home screens. Let's drag this Facebook app onto one of the home screens. And while it loads, let's move on to the other home screens and pull up some more widgets. There's my calendar widget and here I'll pull up YouTube. Moving on to the menu system, it's got three pages of icons loaded with all sorts of stuff from applications to Wi-Fi settings to your phone settings etc. At the bottom of the menu screen you have quick access to messages and phone book. Tapping on this button at the top right corner lets you rearrange icons by dragging them around. Now we'll come to one of the most important features of this phone and that is the slide out QWERTY keyboard. Once you slide it, the phone reorients itself instantly. In settings, you can even link an application to launch with the slide motion for quick access. But for now, let's go into messages manually and test how well the keyboard handles. As you can see, I'm able to type fairly quickly and at least better than most uh, on-screen keyboards, I should say. An important feature for any operating system is how quickly it lets you access functions. Now say I want to change this font because quite frankly it's too kiddish. So I go to settings, display, font and it's done. Fairly quick and logically placed as well. The bundled image editor is a rather nice bonus that I found on this and let me show you a little of it. It's quite useful for quickly adding effects to images before uploading them to any website. I clicked an image of my guitar earlier. Let me just go in and find it, okay. And uh, there it is. While I'm here, I might as well show you the one finger zooming feature, which is a replacement to the lack of multi-touch. You tap, hold, and move up for zooming in and move down for zooming out. Coming back to the effects editor, it's got a number of effects and filters to choose from. It's nice if you want to have a little fun with images on the go. Now back to the main menu, I'll just get rid of all these widgets by flicking them back into the sidebar. But as you can see, every now and then, there is a mistap or a tap doesn't, doesn't you know register at all and this incidentally is one of the biggest downers with this phone so that ends our video walkthrough all in all a decent phone for a market price of around 11.5 grand right now be sure to check out the accompanying detailed review and for now cheers